If x equals to negative 4 and y equals 5, we're going to evaluate. That means get an answer. <laughs> x plus 3y, that's in one parenthesis, and 3x plus y in the other parenthesis. If y'all want to get those written down at home, again, that's x plus 3y in one parenthesis, 3x plus y in another parenthesis. And we're going to do some substitution, basically, to evaluate and see what is the value of this great expression when we make numbers happen. All right. So lots of times, I go back to a problem like this. Some people get very nervous when they start seeing letters. They think math has no reason to have letters. All right. Well, letters just stand for these numbers. And once we put these numbers in, they take on a different life and a different meaning. All right. So everywhere we have an x, we're going to put a negative 4 in there. Everywhere we see a y, we're going to put a positive 5, all right? And that's the simple, straightforward meaning of it. Now, we threw some negative, you know, value here for a negative 4 in our x value today. Make you have to think just a little bit extra out there, all right? So let's put some numbers on this page, all right? Let's see. Uh, everybody's got it written down, I hope, at home. And we've got, here we go. going to bring it out here. We've got a negative 4 plus, how about it, 3 times... 5, close that off, and then over here we've got 3 times our negative 4, and we're going to add the 5. So once again, these numbers begin to make sense once we put, um, put these variables to rest and put numbers in their place. Left side, let's see what happens. I've got a negative 4, and I have, looks like 15 going on right there. That looks good. All right. Over here, by the way, there's a parenthesis there. We don't want to lose that yet. Remember, my dear Aunt Sally says, well, when we please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, it means we go to parentheses first. Then we'll work out what's inside, and that's the multiplication. Don't add, again, don't add negative 4 and 3 first. That's not going to work for us. All right, we've got to take in the order of operations, so multiply it out. Let's work in our other parentheses. It says 3 times negative 4, we get a negative 12, and we're going to add 5 to that. And you know what? Looks a lot easier, doesn't it, folks? Let's continue working inside those parentheses. I've got a negative 4 plus 15. It's going to pick up an 11. Over here, I've got a negative 12 plus 5, which is going to give me a negative 7. And you say, Ernie, what are we going to do? Well, these parentheses tell me we're going to multiply. There's nothing in between them, so it's going to be just simple multiplication to finish up. Now, you got to remember, got to remember something here. If you type that and those numbers into your calculator, make sure you've got parentheses with them, all right? You wouldn't just type negative 4 plus 15 times negative 12 plus 5. You've got to have the parentheses because otherwise the calculator will go right to that multiplication in the middle and say, forget the rest of it, forget the rest, of it, and you will get a much different answer, all right? By the way, what's our final answer? We are going to get a negative 77, it looks like, all right? Quick check back over. We always like to do that just to make sure we've done good things. First of all, make sure you substitute the right numbers in. Uh, let's see, got the negative 4 popping in there. We got 3 times 5. That looks good. 3 times negative 4 gives that negative 12. That looks good, as does the 5 here. Because remember, every time we see an x, put a negative 4 in there. Every time we see a y, we put a 5 in there. Looking through, we get a negative 7. We get a positive 11. Ooh, 7, 11. Someplace that works out there. And multiply. By the way, when a negative times a positive does give us a negative value at the end. So there you go, negative 77 final answer on problem of the day. And I hope you guys got it worked out right at home. For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.